Hey guys, Daniel James here, and today what we're going to be doing is taking a look at Orchestral Tools new library, Talon. The way we're going to do this one, uh, we're assuming that you've already seen many one of the many walkthroughs that have already been put out. So what we're going to do here is we're going to open the library and we're just going to try sketching with it, writing some contextual parts, and basically just enjoying the library in a contextual way. So anyway, without further ado, as you can see, by the way, we're doing this live with a chat room, so they'll constantly be down in the corner trolling me. But other than that, I'm now going to focus on writing the music and I will be talking to the chat room. So if you're watching this on YouTube, that's why I'm talking to myself. But anyway, any further ado, let's get going. So as you can see, I've already written some parts here. I've already written a few little piano things that we can play with. So first off, let's load up the sign player. That's probably what we should do from the get go. Right, so Talon is split up into choirs, both male and female strings. We've got chamber violin, violas, celli, and bass. And then we have an organ. Well, we have a few different types of organ, but basically we've got the built-in organ uh, from the Talon recording sessions. So anyway, so I've written some parts here. Let's just load up some female choir and start playing along. I mean, guys, so I'm probably going to put some reverb and stuff on these. So I'm going to put it over this for now. Keep that line. That sounded fine. Uh, let you know whenever I'm doing things like this. So first, let's check this. So we'll put the mixer because I want way more reverb. I'm feeling for this kind of sketch that I want to do today. Like I want to make it sound how the front of this looks. I want to make it feel like cold and ambient and sparkly. <laughs> if that's if that's a fair thing. So there may be some external reverbs going in, but we'll check the uh, mics on these first. It's actually really nice. Right. Card, so we got Omni mics. What's oh, so that's the cardioid mic. Okay. So what's what's the Omni mic sound like? Oh, need to actually play it. I think I like that one the most. So that with a spot. I kind of like that line as well. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to put Black Hole on it today just because that's the kind of music I'm writing. It's very ambient, and I feel like it'll work well. Right, first, I'm actually going to make... So that's going to be... Uh, let's make that the voices, uh, and then we'll add MIDI tracks, and then we'll go voices to... This is a fun thing, by the way, with Cubase. Not too many people know. I mean, most people know it. But if you, let's say that this one's voices, right? And I want to make five different voices. If I call the next one voices two and then add five, it actually sequentially names them. So it goes two, three, four, five, six. And you see they're all attached to their appropriate MIDI out numbers. So now that is like a, a group. And now I can add these to a folder. Is, that, is it like add groups to folder? Whatever. Let's just make a folder voices and we'll put the voices in the voice folder done right just so that i know where it is and that i don't accidentally put it with the string one so i'm going to split them into their own uh individual ones because i feel like i'm going to want to treat the strings and the choir differently let's put a viola there for now add track let's put five mini tracks in for this uh strings too even though i haven't put the other one there yet And then one more folder. Oh, there we go. Move select track to new folder. Right. Strings. Just so I know where everything is. Just so I know where everything is. Right. Here we go. You know, I want. 
I don't know how much they like they want me to like fuck around with the sounds, but I'm going to use it how I would use it in the real world. Just so you guys know that that might not be might not be the the best way of showing it for how it sounds authentically, but I want to show how it can be used to write music. So I'm going to send the string one to my string group so it's got reverb on it. Sounds good. So I'm just filling out basically what I did is before uh, before we started the, the the stream here, I just recorded these little piano ambiences. And what I'm doing is I'm just kind of covering them with the idea behind them. And then we can build some more parts on top of that, I guess. Cool, that works. <laughs> right, four. We haven't got the viola. So let's try some of these extra like effects with the viola. So single bow expressive, that's gonna be look, what is that like individual? Uh wrong one. Right, the bass is a bit loud. I think I just need to pull these down. Like the tone, the tone of the bass is a bit like nasally. So I'm going to try and change the mic. Hopefully that we can get something different out of it. A bit more ambient, really quiet though. It's a bit better though. I prefer it as a sound. So the, the 
the expression thing. So it's like a single, single note. So if I was to just. Right, so we've got some portamento long, which would be good for like. I don't want to do that yet though. So we've got tremolo too. Oh, add, add some. Let's just go with that for now. Right, I've got so now I've got the uh, the violins like holding that high part. I actually want to bring another one in to play with uh, the. I'm bringing another string, so on channel five here, but like we'll use this to use like the waves and stuff. In fact, let me put these on the, I think the, the actual ones will sound better. nasty but in a good way let me put this over here like i'm gonna put that over this but i'm gonna render it so that i can have more control see the dog hates it So what I actually want to do with that is I'm just going to render that down because that sounded great, but I also want to have another layer of it lowered down in the mix, but like washy. So it sounds like it's got like a mangled verb on it kind of thing. Right, let me show you what I mean by that. Just like another layer of like ambience in the background. Do I still have mangled verb? Mangled verb. I do. Here it is. I don't know if this will work, but let's see. There you go. See it just on the edge of, of distorting. Just a bit less. What is that line? What is that line?
Like that's the kind of line that you would put with like a uh, like a cellist. I wonder if this is the time. This is the time to bring out like the uh, fucking the organ. <laughs> What's it called? The organ. Let's have a look. Because the organ has a load of different sounds. So look, like look at this. It has a whole plethora, plethora, plethora. There we go. Just so that we're all clear, like they do have the big balls one. So while I'm going through this, don't be like, oh, it's not, it's not that big of a. So I wonder what some of these sound like on, uh, sound like on the actual. So I'd have to turn the sustain pedal off and there. Ooh, nasty. Because, like, I think this with a bit of reverb on it, like, if I put this in black hole, but not, like, so it's completely drowned, these kinds of boo doo doo boo doo 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 that'll sound quite nice, I think, in reverb. I like that. So let me, uh, let me put that in, like, black hole. No, 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 no. Maybe Shimmer, because Shimmer will put a top layer on it, won't it? Nah, it's way too messy. It's a little bit too full. And they don't play softer, do they? I mean, I could do it. I could do it like that. It's been... And now this feels way too loud. Make these really soft. But like, if I'm careful, I can make this the transient of the organ. Because listen, the organ's got like no attack. If I add just subtle piano, I might get the transient from it. Ah! <laughs> you see? So now I'm using like the transient of the piano keys to like fill in this. As you do. I did want to use the shimmer, but it's a bit too, maybe if I bring the, uh, the size down a bit. No, it doesn't quite work, does it? But it will work, I think, if I'm just going to, you know what? Sign player, I want, to, I want a cello on its own thing because I want to put weird effects on it. Let's, let's find some like stuff with the cello we can do here. Can somebody tell me what flagellet means? <laughs> Looking at it, I feel like I should know. I feel like it's some sort of muted, but you know, when I look at it, I'm like, hmm. All right, harmonics, thank you. Why can't they just put harmonics? I mean, I understand that we use <laughs> the Italian verbiage, but I feel like the Italians now know what harmonics mean. Whereas expecting a Brit like me to understand flagulae. All right, so now I've got the cello doing the flagulae.
I guess, got a nice feel to it. Not yet, bro. Not yet. It's not your time yet. I actually want to double that. I like the line, so I'm going to double it somehow with the vocal. <laughs> oh, what I could do is I could have the men double it. Oh, lo, 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 lo. You know, like if they double the bass line, we can finally give the men somewhere to go. Uh, we'll give them sustains. Random longs tone. Modulation, turn these buggers up. That was terrifying. What the fuck was that? I think I may have chosen the wrong sound. <laughs> I didn't want random, I wanted syllables. That was it. So that's doubling the bass now, so that should be. You know, we need this to just be louder in general. Right, that's getting a little bit obnoxious here, though. So maybe we could. So that's a... So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move this to, we'll just change the way it feels. Ah. This one. So what that can be, okay, that can act as a fade out into the next section. So everything here is just going to fade to zero because we can. So I'll fade that out and then we'll bring in the next section, which should probably start at beat one. There you go. So we'll leave, we'll leave a pregnant pause and then we'll go into a different thing. Sorry, I'm, I, I know I'm focused, but I'm trying to just get into it here. I knew what key I was playing. <laughs> Let's 
But right now, these strings are feeling way too loud. Need to calm down some. So up here now we have, what are we doing here? Like a D and then like an F. So we put this here. And then, yeah, that's about right. Right, I like that as a little line. Can we do something with the men back? to be that loud, bro. Right, let's bring this down to like 50. Hey, thanks for the bits. That sounded like Fozy69. Sounds great as always, DJ. Thank you. I appreciate that. I appreciate your candor. I don't know. That's a completely wrong way to put that. Though. And then we'll have like some 16ths for the first. We're making it majestic. Something like that works. So what I'm doing right now, for those who are new and have never watched me before, this is the sketching phase. So around this time, you're not expecting anything to be perfect. You're expecting it to be in the right ballpark. So this may not be...
So what we'll do is we've got like a fun little line here that covers two parts. So we'll put the top line on the violin. We'll put the bottom line on the viola. It's not much of a line, <laughs> but we're doing like sort of ambient -y music. For though, like, like I said at the beginning, I'm trying to make music that feels like that cover looks, you know? Uh, which line did I just edit? So this would be the viola. Oh, missed one. So what I'm doing here, just layering, making that line feel a bit more interesting. You see, just kind of layering them together, giving them a bit more vibe. <laughs> What's this string up here doing? Now that's the choir, so this would be this one. Oh, that's because that's the dynamic waves. We did load another string, right? Violins doing the dynamic waves. <laughs> that's on number five. So we'll put that down there. Number five, this one. <laughs> so quiet. string strings okay so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to make we're using a lot of strings apparently i'm going to save it first you know what like does anybody else get like that sixth sense about something crashing like all of a sudden your brain goes you should probably, you should probably just save it now string seven strings let's add another six of these whatever so this i was pulling out because i realized i'd created like this ostinato pattern up here and the cool thing with that is we can layer that with something short, which we haven't done so far. I'm feeling like it's quite low, so I'm going to put it on a viola, I think. Eh, no, let's put it on a cello. Cellos tend to do those kinds of things cool, especially when they're chamber. So they have got short notes as well, so let's put some staccatos on it. They're not spitz, spitzicato? Uh, spitzicato. Why does that feel wrong? Is spitz, spitzicato? Why? Spiccato, sp oh, whatever. The shorter one. What is this actually? This sounds cool. Hmm. Keeping that. Spitzicata. <laughs> the really short one. Spicata. Staccato spicata. What the fuck is spitzicato? Where, what is, where did that word come from? I like it, but it's not a word, is it? Fuck it, I'm keeping that. It sounds odd, I'll grant you, but I want that as a sound so that I can turn it into an ambience because it's got lots of movement in it. Spitzicato, that's a new word. So we need this to be on number seven, which is this one. What? Seven. Oh, for some reason it's not changed. There we go. Wait. Oh, okay. I must be in the key. 
key range, the key switch range. Maybe you can. I was, but it was in the upper range. The hell? What is what? Yeah, I was triggering this. Maybe 50? Yeah, minus 50, it seems. Like. Right, you can go like minus 12. And then we'll add Valhalla Shimmer on top to bring that high end back. that in black hole. Save that. Now I'm going to re-render that again and then turn it down. Just going to render that down again. If you put a shimmer on a kazoo, it's called Halvala Shimmer. It's funny because the word Valhalla now in my dialect comes out as Halvala. Like you've literally incepted Halvala into my mind. I hope you're enjoying it in there alongside Bill Gates and the 5G network. See how much more life that gives it without it? That's without it and then with it. You see, the things you can do with plugins. <laughs> right, so we have this voice thing. Maybe this and this. Just move in lines in and out. I need like a lead. <laughs> I need like a lead violin now, don't I? <laughs> We've got all the ambience. I mean, I could try doing it with an organ. Let's try doing it with an organ. Let's get a big old organ up there. Oh, this one's cello, right? Oh, this was like my special cello. <laughs> So this, this, I'm actually, this, I actually just want to put it like in the Omni room like this.
Right, we'll put that in there for now, but then I want this to kind of do the... Okay, this is going to be tricky. So now we're going to go down to a B flat. So I'm going to have to make it so that everything works with a B flat. That works, that works. That does not. That you do not. Leonidas, you do not. Right. Because then, when I pull this big D over the top, which sounds like a euthanism, but it's really not. When I pull this D here, we don't go that high. So we can go. Don't like that last one, but we can we can rebuild. Okay, so delete, delete, whatever, something like that. Doing like a little choral part there, just as we go down the thing. And so uh, the cello should, doesn't need to be playing the D for that long, but the D does work there. Right, am I on the wrong side? Oh, I am. So you can be like, no, no. it does need the context in it. Interesting. Why does that get stuck? later. Right, we didn't we need a new we need a new organ. We need a bigger organ. We need a bigger big out wait. Let's go with wait, what's a quiet organ? It's got so it's got all sorts of like different types. So let's just see what the differences are first while we're here, because I don't actually know. So the main organ. Oh wait, I put that in the wrong place. That sounds a bit pitchy. Oh, I actually like that. Let's go with that for now. So what would we do here? I mean, I could, I could just. Okay, <laughs> that works, but it's sort of doing the role of a uh, wind instrument at the minute. Has a bit too long release. You can change that. I'll change that in a second. Main organ manuals. Let's listen to this. What does this sound like? Uh, you can change the. Uh, you can change the end things like this. I just like letting them carry over because we're doing ambient. <laughs> Way too big. Oh, 
I want to be like... Or like that. Because like things like this, I like going... Using them as um, like rhythmic... So they're just in the background going, you know, but in there it kind of works. So we can be like, probably sounds shit, but let's have a listen. You never know unless you try. You know what? We could do it like this. So they're just too loud. I'm going to do them offbeat. I might turn the volume down. Let me just repeat this. So now I'm just adding some voices, trying to make it, keep it interesting. Except now I need to unsolo this if I want to hear it. Right, way too much going on. Mostly these, mostly these ruining everything. We can turn these down now. That legit just sounds like the last samurai, so I'm gonna change that. <laughs> it's the it's the da, da da which is annoying. But we'll go we'll go up and then down. We'll just do it. We'll go up to the F as well. So we're getting some vibes. What vibes have we done so far? <laughs> I feel like we've just sort of filled out these piano sketch things. So I'm actually going to drag this over.
I need like a lead instrument. So I actually like that, but the, the melody comes in way too quick. So I want to set up that whole. Do these work in Octave Live? Oh, these need to be separate. So these these ones here that I'm playing are the uh, which, which well, we're on number one, right? Am I on number one? What track am I on? Uh, no, da, da, da. no, it's it's track three, which is the uh, the syllables. So it's changing it's changing the. Uh, You see how much ambience that brings? Why don't we turn that down? Put this one on dynamic waves. So number six. Oh, wait, it's not doing anything. Right, chamber violin, chamber cello. I don't know why I've got them on the same. Yeah, this should be number two. Oh, weird. For some reason, a lot of them reset to different numbers. We fixed it, so and the cello was supposed to be doing Yeah, there we go. And I feel like it's all minus fifty, so I'm just gonna add that to everything, see what happens. Because mine, uh, for those of you who don't know what I mean by minus 50, so what I'm doing right now is I'm just putting in a, tr uh, a track delay offset. So the way these samples work is you don't actually get the full sustain of the note when you push the key. It happens a few milliseconds later. That gives you enough time to capture the sound of the air, the sound of the bow hitting the string, and all those things that happen just before you, you uh, sound out a note. Well, what this, what this does is basically I'm just compensating for that. So I'm starting the track 50 milliseconds earlier than it should. So instead of offsetting everything on the grid by like a six, two sixteenths or something, so that all the grid bar, like all the MIDI notes are off, because in you know usually to get it in time, you can see I'm actually doing it here. I'm compensating naturally when I play. So that's like what the 50 milliseconds looks like. So if I put that back, if I just assign that to the, you know, the actual, <laughs> the actual timings. It should uh, work now that I've put the minus 50 offset. Because that's what it was for the one thing and usually there.
So that first half needs a lot of work. I'm just gonna listen to this bit in a different key. Just see where we're at. I may end up pitching some of this around. Let's try it two down. Oh, I like that. It's dissonant. I wonder if we can make that work. I like it though. Reminds me of like a near automata chord. La da da. It's like that, right? You know, after that phrase, I'm going to put that weird harmony I just did. I mean, it kind of works. I just need to fix the actual timing of it, so... What am I hearing? So it's just the same note. down that low, I suppose. It's that one again, isn't it? This one's supposed to be staccato. Do you know what? What if we put the whole fucking thing? Oh, it, it tr that's what triggered it. Okay, so... Um, which one? This one. So we want it on staccato. Just need to make sure we're in the range. You know what? We're just gonna we're gonna remove this. And we're just gonna <laughs> we're just gonna put the strings, celli. Staccato. There is no way that it can go to a different note now. And we can extend the range so it could be the biggest cello known to man. 
No sound. Brilliant. Wait, do we even load it? Did I just extend the range of something else? <laughs> ah, for Christ's sake. Oh, well, we'll find out soon. La da da da. Again, top line, bottom line. So I'm just gonna put the top line on this violin here. Again, these these may feel like insignificant lines, but when you're doing ambient music like this, when it's all just sort of in the background, things like this, I feel like you feel a bit more. You feel it. I want to try layering it with other libraries now. So you've heard it pretty much just by itself to this point, but now I'm, at, I'm going to start layering it and see how it fits when we bring other things in. I hope you guys are okay with that. So if I pull this under it, it should sound. So like one of the things I always like to show is how well they blend with other instruments. So now I feel like we've built up enough of like a vibe using just the library in lots of different ways. Now let's see how I would use it like in an actual work environment. Right, by the way, we're still pitched down. So I'm gonna pitch it back up. It's gonna feel weird for a second. I'm just going to let that part play out as is. Good enough, close enough. <laughs> <laughs> Ignore that violin line. Getting a little carried away up there. I'm straight up just going to put black hole on the French horn here because I want it to be ambient as fuck.
need to fix that harmony. Anything here was bad. Right. The cellos over here are getting a little wild. It's because they go. Maybe if I maybe if I do these like more of as a dum. Do we have another octave down? Not that I like. Way too loud. Okay. I thought I could fix it, but I can't. That didn't really work. Okay, right. Something about the voices were really bad. I I can already see what it is. We got a peak of fucking. You see that? There was a peak of MIDI information. I knew that, by the way. If you're wondering how I knew that, I could see it like on this. You see, like how there's like a white spike there. That I can see that the uh, MIDI data hasn't gone all the way to the end. Which, uh, well, or at least it hasn't got extra data. So it may carry over like that does, but the other one didn't. I like that, it's weird. that needs fixing i like that i like that as a little chill line so i'm actually just going to put that up on the cello up here as well uh calm them titties there mr horn So like bar 68 and a half, there's something wrong. There you are. <laughs> it's funny how you can like immediately see it. I feel like that's a nice vibe. Right? It's got like a cool flow. Why does that sound fucked? We got sustain pedal the whole way through? No, we got it for nowhere. It 
stay safe ya Mike Mom. It's like 99% Talon, and then I added uh, these two strings. So this is all Talon right now, and whenever one of these plays, it's not. So horn coming in. this line okay, out of time all that is won't move anyway so if I remember correctly this these ones are minus 80 <laughs> brilliant so these will go a little bit out of time now Are you going to staccato now? Why is this all fucked up again? This is MIDI number two. There. Oh, okay. Oh, I see what happened. Okay. Right, 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 right. Okay. So this is supposed to be number two. But this somehow got lumped in there. Because this was playing. Uh. So what I'm doing here is just adding, so you see I've got my line here. Da, da, da. If I add the, uh, the portamento one, in fact, I'll do the short one. Just adds like a um, adds a little accent to the beginning. If you would, but if I layer that with my other strings, just adds like a bloom to it. I kind of like it. Right, 
right, that's what it's playing. So let's double that up. Why, why, just, 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 just put the fuck in. That's what it is. Da, da, da. These can be legato because they're cellos. Obviously not that loud. more female choir. Right, let's check these out. Female choir on three, so. It's got a creepy vibe, but I like it. Oh, actually, I like it over that. You can tell anything off. I actually prefer that. It's... I actually really like that. It's weird, but it's weird in the good way, you know? Black hole on choir, most likely. I can't remember. Yeah, it's got black hole on it. Without it, it's going to sound a lot worse, but I'm aiming for ambient. This is without reverb. And then with, with Black Hole on, it's obviously a lot more ambient.
I'm not sure why this keeps happening, but like my my number assignments, like you see how this is MIDI one, MIDI two. For some reason, these both came in on MIDI three. Luckily, they sound good together, so I'm not going to change it. But um, it's weird that it keeps doing that. That's like the third time it's done that during this stream. I wonder if it's like if I hop. Yeah, yeah. Okay, they need to fix that. Look, if uh, if you put your uh, wheel, your mouse wheel, you see, like I scroll up and down like this. If I put my mouse wheel here, you see, look, it actually changes the number if I scroll. So if I move my mouse too far over here like that, you see, changes the three on the way over. That's what's happening. Okay, at least now I know. This one was on three. So we had one, two, three, three, four. What did I just do? One, two, oh, fuck's sake. Fix it, orchestral tools. Right, and this needs to be number four. Right, so let's put some random longs in there. Let's go back to this beginning. You know, I'm keeping that. That's that's one of the things, by the way, with um, <laughs> as you get as you get like further along with your muscle memory of composing music, you end up going, yeah, that works a lot more, at least to yourself, you know, because look at that. There's no way that should work. So this top line is going too loud, so we're just going to curve that off. So I actually like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to render that as audio and I'm going to like manipulate it to be the ambience of that section. It doesn't need to be, it doesn't have to be like, um, what's the word I'm going for? It doesn't have to be clean in this regard. You know, we've got that vocal clean bit coming up later. So... So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to put the Moog filter on it. Move filter, pull the calf down, move the man up. It's a bit too much. It's got a load of resonance in it. Let's pull that out. sits in the background there, nice. Nice, you're gonna put that in there. Like this big section here needed work, but. Dun, 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 dun. 
Oh, there's no um, staccato. That would have been perfect. I'd, do, I'd have him doing that. Dun, 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 de, do, dum, ba, lo, do, do, which sounds weird when I sing it. Granted, but I think this is the this is the way. Da, 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 da. Let's remove you. La, da, 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 da. Oh, syllable short. Dun, de, do, ve, do, do. Let's go here. Something like that, but obviously turned up because <laughs> it had vibe. It had vibe, but um, just needs needs a little needs a little love. Needs a little minus fifty as well. Needs a little turning up. You see, because it fills out like it's not playing anything amazing, but in context of that, it becomes a thing. In the context of an ambience, it becomes a thing. Listen. But with these, you need to be very careful that you don't have any overhanging notes because you they're syllables. So you have to, you, yeah. if you do legato, it will sing the same syllable. So what we want to do is just. Might be able to put this on an organ.
I'm just going to double this actually. Doesn't need the rest of the notes, just needs. I actually like it. It's very uh, menacing down here. I'm going to put another one up at the top for the second half. Not the first half. The first half sounds super menacing, just low. Listen. We've got that in there now. Right, what's messy? Where's the messy things of this? Yeah. So what I'll do is try to actually do the key switch on this. One, two, three, three, four, and then, all right, so long, wait, no, wait, um, syllable short. Okay, they, they're just doing that, that's fine. Now I'm gonna get rid of the complexity and have it just do this like dark chant. <laughs> There he goes. I should probably turn these ones up. too high. So what would that be? That'd be You get that's so what you get. You get a rhythm. You get a new. You get a new rhythm, new melody. Don't know what that. Don't know what it's going to be, but whatever.
Subibrate, saturate, saturate. <laughs> Jeez, you know, just some like Latin esque phrases. Why did it go all the way back there? It's weird how these ones start really late. These guys. Maybe if I get rid of all the things. And then just that, you know, just like a bass line under there, just like a drone. first note we need like a big deep dum like a sinister one you know delete that range because it's just repeating basically
need to fix them, they're a bit loud. Obviously loud as fuck right now. Let me just turn it down. Little bit off there, Dan. Where, where the fuck is it? Oh, there it is. Soft app. these these things <laughs> Jesus I don't know what key that was meant to be. What? what? <laughs> like that, right? I want this to be like a, you know, one of those like steam pipe things. Do, do, do.
Damn. Okay. Right. So I need to do this in two layers <laughs> because I'm going to be overlapping, but whatever. If it sounds good, it, it sounds good, whatever. I don't, there's a gap in there that there's not supposed to be. It's like a beat. It doesn't have to be that extreme. Just wanted a little, a little roll, a little roll into that little final outro bit. And then we'll fix up what we got and see where we are. We'll do that. But then we'll also do it on, should we do it with the fucking hi-hat? Not hi-hat, symbol. Not as loud. Let's get some like dynamic viola or something at the end. Something we haven't done a lot of. Strings, violas, and let's put like some dynamic waves. Flash there. So that's going to be on what? Ch channel eight. I don't like the flageolet part of it. Flageolet, I'm probably pronouncing that horribly wrong. It's gone down to the portamento, didn't mean. So let's have wide sustains. Oh, these ones have got saltasto. Yeah, fuck it. We'll have some salt, some salt tasties at the end. Sounds like a save room from Resident Evil. A little bit. That's probably because it's got a piano. No, I, ooh, ooh, fucking with me. I 
No, no, I'm going to start like that, actually. hear it when it's that low so maybe we can turn that up it's already pretty fucking loud so i'm gonna do i'm gonna render that so i can get more gain without messing with everything else because it's like a final thing so uh. are these boys still loud do i think as a sketch don't you think guys do you think that's a bit of a sketch i mean it's not great <laughs> but we managed to keep it primarily to the actual instrument what we were writing about. We were trying to just... to calm Tefek down.
kind of worked. Well, it's a journey. It's a journey. But anyway, so what do you guys think of that? What was that? That was like an hour and a half, two hours. Two hours sketch with some. Hang on, let me bring it up. For fuck's sake. Oh, no. Can we, can we make the picture bigger? Anyway, so here we had. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed that little sketch there. So what I was trying to do there was show some in context, some in context how I would use it in an actual writing environment look at Tallinn. And, you know, there's plenty of walkthroughs out there that show the sign player. I've covered the sign player already multiple times. So if you're wondering how the rest of the UI works, go watch one of my previous sign player videos, or there's plenty of great uh, other video makers out there. Guy Michael Moore, Alex Pfeffer, Dirk Ellert. Get out there, watch these guys with their... Uh, literal walkthroughs and then so what the aim of this one was was to show you how i would use it to write music so it's not always just a case of clicking an instrument and loading it in i was trying to show you that what i do when i get instruments like this particularly ones that have their own kind of atmosphere is i'll render them down to audio add effects add some cool like filters and big delays and big reverbs create the ambience and then work into those so that i'm sound designing but all the sound design content is starting from you know, the original source audio. So when I write over the top of it with the other instruments, it all ties together just intrinsically because it's the same sample set. So that is how I would use it, like particularly things like this that are airy, lots of reverb, lots of uh, lots of mic positions, lots of things just kind of giving it vibe. Like libraries like this, I feel are all about the vibe. They give you something different. So I, you know, I bang on all the time about these uh, standard instrument sets, you know, where it's just the, the basic sounding recorded in a hall, blah, blah, blah. Whereas here we've got the Estonian, what was it? The Estonian Symphonic Chamber Choir singing, which has got a beautiful tone. It's hard to, hard to pin down, but it's like, it doesn't sound like a conventional orchestral choir. It sounds a little bit small. It sounds a little bit darker. And particularly with those vibratos, like I, I could have written something maybe dark Solian uh, or Bloodbornian. Uh, you know, a bit darker in that regard, but I wanted to go a little bit more ambient because when I look at the cover, you know, it had more of that sparkly vibe. So I wanted to go down that 
feeling. But as you could see, very easy to write with, very easily blends with itself. But like most importantly for me, blends very well with my usual bread and butter libraries like Cinematic Studio Strings or, you know, Cineperk or, uh, you know, the Berlin Brass. All of these things sort of fit together. And I think it turned out quite nicely. Uh, so yeah, who is this for? This is for people who are doing smaller orchestral things. So if you get a film that's perhaps a film or a game that's perhaps centered on a smaller ensemble, not a big, you know, grandiose thing, but you want to tell a small story. Libraries like this, where you're using chamber-sized choirs and chamber-sized orchestras will, in I, I use the word again, but intrinsically make your music feel smaller. It will make it feel more intimate, make it feel more... And it will also make it feel different because most libraries these days, mostly because of arseholes like me that keep asking for it, they tend to go bigger. They tend to go big and loud and brash. Whereas this has gone the complete opposite direction. So it's for people who don't already have that sort of quiet sound set, but want something a little more, a little more, uh, not avant-garde, but a little bit more unique, a little bit more bespoke feeling. It's hard to pin down what I mean by that, but bespoke feeling meaning that it's an orchestra, but it doesn't sound like every other orchestra. It's got its own vibe. And I think it's perfect for the uh, for things like what I wrote today, like the more ambient, the more... Uh, atmospheric type music. But I do think it could be used for Bloodborne. So hopefully if someone's watching this, they can do a Bloodborne, you know, and they pick up Talon. Perhaps they can do a Bloodborne demo for me and show me it in action because I feel like it could do that pretty well. But like I, like I said, so I did have the pianos not in it, but as you can hear, I've got some ambient textures in the background with this, which is just a filter and some reverb holding the strings around. Some nice chords. And as you hear with the choir, it's got its own unique tone. It's something otherworldly almost. It's a bit like the Bulgarian choirs. Then we're doing like a more of a church thing. And then later on. So check out these, these vibrato -y. You know what I mean? They've got a vibe, they're creepy kind of vibe. But in the, like, this is the choir ensemble. I'm getting there, super time. So it immediately creates the atmosphere. And the other thing that surprised me was the, uh, was the organs. So... Someone asked what was the cons. One of the cons I was going to mention, but I'll mention now because it's sort of relevant, is I did wish, I, I do wish that it covered like maybe just a few of the other instruments, maybe just something like a harp or a piano so that there's something to give it a bit more rhythm, a bit more space outside of the choir and the strings. Just something, you know what I mean? A celeste, just something that I was using the piano for, you know, because this type of music, these kinds of, like this is uh, the gentleman piano. You know, something to do that with, just to layer with it would have been cool. But the thing uh, it didn't have as well was woodwinds, which would have been awesome for this kind of combination. But the reason I mention it now is the organs. Some of them did sound very wind-like, you know. And I, again, I did mention it earlier, but it does have... It does have the big sounding ones too. Not so much that one, but this one particularly. Or, you know. It's got some huge organs, but the thing I liked about it is some of the organs 
to sort of act like woodwinds. And some of the best ambiences come from organs. Do green sleeves? So you see how some of these are just doubling up. I don't know why that went so quiet all of a sudden. Came back up. turn this up at all oh it's because i know why it's doing it because i've got midi di automation data with it turned down oh well that's as loud as it's going to go for now uh Please be seated for verse 2, chapter 7. The Lord... No. <laughs> I used to go to... Uh, anyway, but we'll, we'll talk about that afterwards. But anyway, so I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this sketching with Talon today. I had fun writing with it. It's a great library. Uh, sorry, before I go on, someone wanted me to mention the cons. So as I mentioned, the cons of the library didn't have any woodwinds, doesn't have any brass, not that it needs the brass, but I felt like it could have used some sort of harp or like piano-esque instrument just to help with the rhythm, just to help pull it across. But this is definitely for people who want to do those more bespoke chamber sounding things. It also layers well with the big orchestra to create that smaller size within a big ensemble. So it really depends what you're after. If you're doing this type of music, it's essential. If you do anything with choirs and you need a separate type of voice, it's going to be good for that. If you're looking for big and epic, this isn't for you. If you're looking for something that's a bigger ensemble sound, again, not for you. This is more of a bespoke, smaller sounding thing. But all in all, great library, very flexible sounds, plenty of articulations. But I hope you guys enjoyed this sketching with Talon today. If you did, do make sure to hit subscribe and the bell and all that. If you're watching this on YouTube, this is where the video is going to end. If you're watching this on Twitch, don't go anywhere. We've still got things to do. If you're watching this on YouTube and you do want to catch this live, the link will be in the description. But in case you don't ever go down there, it's twitch.tv forward slash hybrid two, as in H-Y-B-R-I-D-T-W-O. Uh, go subscribe there as well. Uh, but yeah, if, you, if you're watching this on YouTube, we're going to end here. I hope you enjoyed it and we will see you in the next one.